Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Sully Pones, and welcome back to Let's Play Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. In the last episode, you guys, we made our way here through the energy hold with Mario and Luigi, and we found these two triangular star-shaped panels. So today, I'm gonna find the remaining three star-shaped panels, and then I will use all five to make my way through that locked door where the first sage is hiding. But guys, before we begin, you all know the drill. Do me a huge favor and hit that like button for me. It's funny because today, we are actually going to be learning how to use the drill move with Mario and Luigi finally I know it's it's been a long time since uh since we used a drill move you know uh, there's been a lot of beans that we've skipped over that we need to get I feel like I'm in the wrong place maybe um thanks Globin for telling me a story that I didn't even read okay I'm not in the wrong place so I have this beautiful panel that I'm gonna use it kind of looks like a stingray like that but it's not really a stingray but if you use that panel you can actually make your way uh, through this area which we've never explored before so this is a brand new uh, hidden area for us now in order to use the drill or I guess to learn the drill you have to drill this thing down onto the ground and that is not how they do it they don't use it uh, or they don't drill using the tornado technique Starla will actually explain it right now interesting by spinning you drove that thing into the floor just like a drill Yes, Mario and Luigi will put their brains together, and they will invent it on their own. Even though we've learned this before in the past, except it was different. It required Mario hitting Luigi with a hammer on the head for Luigi to go digging himself into the ground. So it wasn't really a drill, I guess. Neat, so you'll switch to drill bros by pressing R. Just like that, and then Luigi's command will actually be going into drill mode and then once he does we are now inside the ground that's so cool you two spin together and drill down into the ground and then you can move around just like that pick up items that you never seen in the ground that's even cooler if you move underground you can get tiny openings and under barriers and then press b to come back up so it's also a really cool efficient way to avoid enemies as well if you don't want to battle them hey watch where you're popping out will you mm -hmm. i bet that drill bros move can do more than bypass things what you should do is try it on suspicious spots in the ground. Try it in various places. Essentially telling you keep your eyes peeled for items because you're going to find a ton of them. And by items, we're talking about beans because we know Mario and Luigi games have an obsession with beans, man. It's true. Uh, and I, I will actually show it off in just a sec. But you can't drill this, but you can... Okay, maybe not. Maybe I have to hit that. What am I doing? Can I- I can't drill any of these things, right? Apparently I can't. Maybe then there's nothing else for me to do here. There has to be, though. I mean, why would they make this opening? Forgive me, guys. It's, it's been a clean while since I've played this, so I'm just trying to figure it out. Uh, let me see. So, you- you can drill here? Oh, you can. I didn't know that. I literally stood on it and it said X. It said, hey, man, listen, you cannot drill here. But apparently you can, so. I guess I gotta just try places that I- don't really think are places that I can drill in. Can you move? I'm gonna see if I can get past him just by drilling. If not, then I guess he's not gonna move at all, so I have to battle him. And Luigi levels up. Now, don't ask me why Luigi just leveled up and Mario is already one level ahead of Luigi. I don't know how that happened, but it did. The game works in very strange ways where sometimes it'll assume that Luigi's behind Mario. In terms of EXP points when in reality they're the exact same because they've battled just as many enemies. But yeah, this game still does this to me all the time. Oh well. Um, now we are... Oh, don't mind me, sir. I'm just gonna... I can't drill here. I can't... Are you kidding me? They did that on purpose. They don't want me drilling here, but I can drill here, sucker. Look at that. Suck on that. Look at how I avoided him. It's so nice, man. So awesome. And then just do whatever we're doing here. I think they go down, bury themselves in the ground just to pee. And then that's it. And then the thing reacts to their pee. And then it... I don't know why I would say that. I just saw some liquid moving in the ground. And then I just assume that's kind of what it was. But... Um, this is the area where we're actually going to be finding the star piece. Um, and now in this area, we're actually going to find a lot of new things such as beans. Uh, beans in this game actually work in very s different ways than they did in the last two Mario and Luigi games. Uh, Partners in Time and Superstar Saga. And Partners in Time, you actually buy, you use the beans as kind of like a currency for Fawful and then you were able to buy items that you couldn't buy elsewhere. And then in, uh... Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, the beans were blended into a format where then you drink the beverage uh, after, you know, you blend the beans, and then that will actually help increase your, like, stats, like, whether it be 
pow hp or i believe special attack points um so this game is actually the way it, it works very similar to the way it did in dream team where it does the same exact thing it pretty much you get the bean and then you could use it on mario and luigi instantaneously and then that will increase like one of your stat points depending on which bean it is so that's what i like more about beans i would prefer those beans over the other beans like it was pretty creative uh, how they like did that in other Mario and Luigi games like the blending form that kind of reminded me of uh, berries from Pokemon uh, Ruby Sapphire and Emerald where you blended them together and then you gave them to your Pokemon uh, That's what the beans kind of reminded me of but in this game I like I like this format better just because it makes it much easier for you to you know Handle your own stats plus you just find the beans and then instantly put them on your bros If you find all the beans in the mushroom kingdom you will be getting like a hefty 20 30 extra points for each stat not every stat but like for three different stats on of the on the bros and bowser uh and that's right bowser also can take beans as well you know who would have thought bowser of all people would be eating beans when he has all kinds of luxury food at his at his disposal uh so here's another bean um, I probably should have talked to the Globin, right? The Globin would have explained to us how we can find beans, but I think I could do a better job explaining it. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Of course it's going to hit me. Of course it's going to hit me. Um, so essentially, whenever you see a shiny spot on the ground, that's when you know to dig because there's going to be a bean of some sort down there. Uh, I will be going back to Toad Town and I will be collecting those mushroom balls uh, for that one Toad Challenge. Uh, so don't ask me about that because I will be doing it. But we gotta kill these guys first. These guys are so tedious. They have so much HP. I absolutely hate them. It's better to kill this guy first before the uh, the pep actually fuses with him. Okay, come on, come on. What you gonna do, fool? What you gonna do? Woo! Double. I bet if you mi like, I, what I notice is whenever I'm battling these peps, anytime I counter or I guess dodge their attacks, they do lesser attacks per that attack. But when they start hitting me, that's when they'll just continue getting like a chain reaction of hits out of you. So, I don't know. To me, that's just weird how it works, but I don't know if it was intentional or if I'm just noticing things that aren't actually there, but that's how it seems like to me. But look at that. So many freaking beans. And then at the end of it all, we made it. We can now get another piece of the star panel. Only two more remaining. Oops. I didn't mean to hit that off. If you hit it on, it actually turns on. If you hit it again, it turns off. So you want to make sure you keep it on because when the blue or the blue ray shines at it, that's when it keeps the, uh, it makes it into like a, it solidifies the, the star panel, if that makes any sense. Uh, and I think there's an item up here, just coins. All right, how fine and dandy. Did I want coins? Nah, but I'll take coins. Okay, so now what we got to do is we got to grab this thing. The thing is, after each time you solidify one of these star panels, you have to go down and grab it because you need to use that as a key for the next area. And now, right now, it doesn't really matter which way I go. I can either go left or right. Uh, the reason why I went top first is because I needed to go top in order to learn the drill move. And I am going to be doing a little bit of backtracking um, because in this area, there are five beans that we have to collect as well as five attack pieces that we have to collect that we didn't collect in the last episode, which I should have, but I completely forgot. But um, just so you guys are aware, in each area of the game, there are a certain number of beans. Um, so if you want to check it out, hold on, let me just let me just get up here because these guys are being stupid. Okay, so if you want to check out how many beans you have in each area, just go to, uh, I believe, info. No, not info. Go to gear. Or is it, it's going to be items. I knew it. Okay, and then you're going to go to the end. Energy hold. That's area number one. 9 out of 17 beans, and look at how many areas there are in the game with beans. Imagine, you're collecting 17 beans almost in each area, and then those are 17 stats out of 1, 2, 3, okay, that's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, I don't even know, there's so many areas in the game, so many areas, I couldn't even count it. Okay, uh, let's see. I think I think I need to go here. Is there gonna be an enemy here? Please don't be. Okay, thank goodness. So uh, down here, beans, heart bean, heart bean. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Whatever. Okay, we'll we'll play this little game. Gotta hit these things really quick. Oops, I absolutely suck at these ones because they go really fast. Okay, come on, let's go, let's go. One, two. Come on, Luigi, you're always missing yours. I think I'm like jumping a little way too early with Luigi. Okay, there we go. And there it is, five attack pieces. Meaning we only have five left to go, which we also will find uh, in the rest of this episode. So pretty much we're just gonna be clearing out this area. I really want to clear it out just because, like I said, I, I'm not a fan of this area at all. I don't know what it is about it. 
I'm just not a fan of it at all. But the music though is nice. It reminds me of uh, Dragon Ball Z Boost Fury a little bit. When you're inside of Majin Buu's, or not Majin Buu, but Bobbity's spaceship. Yeah, that, that's what it reminds me of. So it does bring back some nice nostalgia from a different game. But anyways, making our way to this side. Uh, let's see what we find. Ooh, and that's the exit. Okay, we don't want to do that. Uh, I think we got to dig your way into the ground. Imagine if you could dig yourself into the ground like that. How awesome would it be? You'd be able to save a lot of time digging. You know, because you don't even have to dig a hole. You could just dig a little hole, look what you, you know, find what you're looking for, and then be out so quickly. Um, but yeah, now we gotta battle these things. And, uh, oh, geez, that was close. <laughs> But, uh, as I was wanting to say, at the end of this episode, I will go back on my own time and I will battle these guys, just because why the heck not? Extra EXP points for me. Okay, I don't think that's what I'm supposed to do on these things. Uh, let me turn these off and see what happens. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. I gotta freaking memorize these numbers. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I got this. Okay, one... Two, three, four, five, six. Bam! Nice and clean photographic memory. And that should just morph them into a nice panel like that. I think there's also going to be something over there. Let's go ahead and find out. We have nothing to lose. Ah, nice. Two super mushrooms. All right. I'll take those. It's not like I need them considering my badge does wonders. But I'll take super mushrooms because they are free. Woo! There we go. All right. Let's see what we got to do next. Oh, geez. Got to go fast. Yeah, most of these areas are pretty easy to get through. Um, as soon as you have the star panel, you just pass a couple enemies and then make your way through the next area. So it's not that long. So I, I'm not really sure why I dislike it, it, considering it's not that long. Maybe it's because of the amount of enemies littered in here that I just don't like. Because some of them just seem to be a little tedious to battle. But we got some special boots, uh, and then we can also find some more beans down here, which is pretty nice. Because, you know, who doesn't like beans, am I right? I used to eat beans all the time back when I was in college. I used to always buy uh, just crackers and just chili beans and just micro. It's because it was canned food, so it was super easy. You know, it's super cheap. You could get like, I think, four cans for a buck. And then you just take them home with a bag of crackers. And whenever you're hungry, just eat that because it fills you up. It's really high in protein. And uh, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's good for, you know, people that don't really have money that are trying to save money, I guess, rather than and have money because for me I was a broke college kid I had no money I was struggling I remember the first like month that I lived in uh, on campus I was just living off of like graham crackers and like tea it was terrible I remember those days vividly but yeah beans are nice I enjoy beans I'll still eat, I'll still eat them from time to time uh, but yeah let's talk to this globe and oh glow yeah he's gonna tell us about attack pieces attack pieces not pieces usually at some attack pieces you can't be uh, or you can't see through the Blu-ray and I think that's what they're trying to get at, for the most part, that you can't see them. Can you get away? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh, man. All right, cool. All right, I just decided to clear them both out, so none of these guys gave me any distractions, because those are always the worst, getting in battle when you least expect it. But anyways, this part requires us to do something a little bit different. It requires Mario to be his little baby midget self form. I actually remember this part. I always thought I was walking on Bowser's intestines every time I saw this part or played through this part, because that's what it looks like, you know, the... The, the tubing in the intestines, you know, where the, the food flows through. That's exactly what it looks like, believe me. Because, uh, yeah, let's not even talk about that. <laughs> um, but anyways, there are attack pieces here that I could grab. That's one, okay. Only four more to go. And I think in this area they only put four, so there's just going to be one more that we're going to have to go back and get. And I also think it's in this area, considering that this is the last area with a uh, star panel that we need to get. So, only two more to get. Where's the last one? There it is. And there it is, folks. All nine attack pieces, not ten. I was expecting it to be the tenth one, but no, that's not the case. So, um, oh yeah, I mean, I think I gotta go... I gotta go up here, right? Ah, oh, come on! I need to figure out how to time that jump to get up there without over-jumping. Is this good? Oh, come on! Okay, maybe that's not gonna work. So if I jump over one, that means usually I'm going over two. So I could get onto, for example, this panel. Oh, 
Come on. This isn't working. Okay, maybe like this. See? See? Like this. Watch. Yeah, just like that. See? Just like... Nope, that's not... That's not it. That's not how it's supposed to go. Like this. There we go! Because he always skips one every time he jumps. So I just needed to figure out how to get there by skipping one jump only without skipping more than that. Okay, so we could just leave this area now, finally. It wasn't even that bad in an area, I'm not going to lie, but... Yeah, I just hate this part, seriously. I just want to be done with this part of the game already. Then we can move on to better, finer things in the game. Because, I mean, the other three stages, finding them... They're not... They're actually really fun compared to this. This... I just don't know what it is. It's just maybe the atmosphere or something. But, wow, look at that slow gravity uh, falling down. They, they just kind of had like a slow fall down. Okay, so Mario, Luigi. Luigi, Mario, Luigi, and Luigi. And don't worry, if you get this wrong, you could always redo it right away to get the attack piece. But every time you do it, it's always different, which is cool. So it's never usually one and the same. But, oh yeah, I forgot. A new freaking move. This is going to be called Super Bouncer. Now, I do remember this attack because I... Didn't really enjoy using this attack back when I first played this game. So essentially what you're going to do, uh, I'm going to watch it. You're going to hit A, Luigi's going to go tumbling down. You got to adjust him though, uh, so he's angled in a proper way to land. So he's on top of the ball, and then he's landing with the ball face down, if that makes any sense. So let's go ahead and practice this by starting. We're going to take out a ball. It's going to bounce. We're going to bounce, jump in the air. And then we're going to adjust ourselves And... Wow, I missed my cue. Okay, let me do that again. Let me do that again. Bring out the bouncy ball. Luigi jumps. I bounce. Adjust Luigi. Boom. All right. That was a nice another fail. <laughs> I got one okay. Okay, let's do this again. Okay. Like that. Right, 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 right. And then... Come on! All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not doing this. I, I remembered why I don't like this attack. It's not fun to do. It requires extreme precision and like that, okay? And then, and then hit him again. And then, and then hit that ball again in the air. And then boom, bounce in the air like that. Oh man, I'm on a good streak. Oops, I hit A instead of B, okay. But you guys get the point. It's a very slow bros attack. I don't know why anybody would want to use this when they have other nicer things that they could use. Especially when we get all the bros moves. Yeah, that's probably going to be one that we don't use at all. But I guess they just put it in the game because they wanted something to fill it in with. So it, it makes perfect sense. Um, but yeah, it's not a bro move that I'm really fond of. Some people might enjoy it. I don't know. What, what is your favorite bro move if you guys have played this game? My favorite is one that we haven't actually found yet, and I'm going to refrain from spoiling it by not saying anything. So, whenever we get to that time, I'll let you know that it's my favorite bros move. But for now, what is your favorite bros move? Currently, if I had to pick one, I'd probably say it's uh, the Woo uh, the Yoohoo Cannons, because those things are freaking awesome. Oh my goodness. You know what I just realized I did? I made a big mistake. I made a huge mistake, actually. I forgot. Well, it's fine. Because I just realized that I defeated the enemies there, but... The mistake was that there was an item up there that I could have grabbed, but oh well. I don't think it's anything important. Let me grab it, because I want to grab it, but at the same time, I feel like I shouldn't grab it because it's nothing important, but... I just remembered how short this area is, so it's not like I'm going to be walking a long distance to get to where I was. So we hit that panel, the nice star thing is available for us. We're going to hit this. That should activate that thing if we want it to come back up for whatever reason. And then we're just going to walk on this. Let's see what we got. Nurse socks. Okay, let's see what those do. I got to check them out, guys. Let's see. HP socks. Oh, uh, never mind. I didn't even read the effect. As soon as I saw the downfall of that in my HP, I'm like, yeah, not even worth it. I'm not even going to bother using it. But look at that, the complete star, my friends, we finally found it. So this is the completed star-shaped panel, and we're going to go ahead and make our way to this lovely room now. I also, nope, I already got the item. I was going to say, I also think there's another item here that I didn't obtain, but apparently I got them all, so I was on top of that. Oh, and also, I did obtain all of the, uh, the beans in the area, so that's, that's something to be happy for, right?
But yo, look at that. There he is, the sage. All right, now we got to chase that little rascal down. We're going to be chasing down a bug. Think about that. That's what this game has come to, us chasing down insects. Because we think they're sages. It's pretty crazy, am I right? So go ahead and hit that, and then that will make those blue things vanish. And there he is, the sage, the first sage, a worm. All right, so Luigi's going to be the one to catch him. Oh, man. I wonder how he's going to do it. Ooh. Why are you scared, Luigi? It's just a bug, man. Uh-oh. Oh, are you sniffing Luigi's butt? Ooh, he's eating it, too. My boy here eats butt. That's pretty nasty. Yeah, I would I would probably puke in my guts, too. Just like he did. All right, he's going to trap him in his hat. But little does he know, it's a worm. This, have they never played with worms as children? I used to dig worms up all the time when I was a kid. As nasty as that sounds. So weird, but yeah, it made me learn a lot about worms and how they, if you cut them in half, they'll still end up moving and it's weird, man. How does that work? I couldn't tell you. Imagine somebody cuts your like body in half and you're still able to walk and move, you know, both halves, even though they're not connected by one thing. It doesn't make sense, but worms are like that. Dude, it's leeching on you. What did he say? Clearly that doesn't work. Why not just grab it, pick it up with your hand, yeah. put it in your pocket, you know? Oh. <laughs> and it ended up farting in Luigi as payback, I guess, for Luigi having a smelly butt. That is so weird, man. Mario and Luigi humor, man. Anyways, uh, now the worm somehow miraculously managed to make it all the way up there in I don't know how many seconds that was, but we were gone for less than what could have been like 10 seconds and the worm made it up there. You need to stop, Piranha Plant. I'm not here for you today. We have some, I have some very important matters to attend to. Just get away from me. There we go. There we go. Come on, stay away. Okay, I need to, oh, I need to do this. Okay, get up here, and nope, wrong thing. There we go, spin. Now, if you wanted to, you can explore this area thoroughly for uh, for items, because they do have a lot of items in this part. So, if you wanted to, you could, but I'm going to do it. Why not? Who cares? That's 100 coins, right? That was like 50 or 100. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Nice and clean. We passed all the piranha plants. Yo, that is awesome. I, for some reason, wasn't expecting us to do that in one piece, but we did. Okay, let's see. Where does this thing take me? Ooh, more items. A hundred coins more. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, I do remember. We can't get past this part unless you kill these guys. Okay. We skipped over one, so I guess we proved myself wrong. And we got another place with more items. Oh, I'll take the coins. They're, they're pretty generous in this part with these coins, am I right? I guess these must be the leftover treasures from Bowser's castle. Just chilling around in his body, you know, for a rainy day. When Bowser gets evicted or something and he needs money, he always could just puke him up and have coins. This is probably, now that I think about it, a perfect place for me to grind if I really wanted to. But I feel like at this point on in the game, I'm pretty overleveled rather than perfectly leveled or under leveled i feel like i'm a little bit over leveled because i feel like people when they play these games they don't kill every single enemy in their path and that's literally been me since the beginning of this game every enemy that i've encountered i have defeated so i'm pretty much i guess where up i'm supposed to be you know in terms of levels maybe or maybe i'm over leveled. i don't know how to classify it but anyways that is going to be it there is a safe spot here uh, I'm gonna go ahead and save and then hopefully in the next episode we will be done with this area So then we can get on to the fun parts in the game and it's not boring or anything like the last couple of episodes were just because Nobody likes this part of the game. I'm just saying there's always a part of the game Out of your favorite games that you love and enjoy that you don't like the only exception I would have to say actually I don't even want to say it, but yeah Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video Remember hit that like button for me and I'll see you all in the next episode Goodbye.